Hey what's up guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Minecraft Monday. In today's video we have a very special mod requested by someone and that someone was Capsar. He commented on the video he or she. Can you do Farmer's Delight mod review next and because they um, commented that comment first I'm going to do it in this video. <laughs> So remember guys, the first person to comment on this video will be shouted out in the next video. So if you have any type of mod um, request, you can put them in that comment and you'll have a big chance that I'll do it in the next video. One quick disclaimer that I want to put out there is uh, I don't cover every single item and block in every mod that I do because it would take way too much time and I just want to keep these videos short and kind of like fast. <laughs> And also to like give you guys a little bit of uh, exploring and not to spoil the whole mod for you guys. Starting off with our first thing is the stove. And when we look at the stove you actually only have to look at this block because the things you put on top are either this pot or this pan. And you can make, uh, yes the cooking pot, you can make your own type of stew. And if you look here we have all these different type of types of stew. That I'm not going to put on a wall because that would take way too much space. <laughs> so the cooking pot is is uh, used for cooking um, stews and the pan is used for cooking different meats. So when we go into this basket, I put a netherite knife in here. <laughs> We're going to take all of this meat out of here. And yes, you can make um, a knife with every type of uh, material in the game, even flint. So. You're, you'll need this cutting board right here and you can put something on here and whether it's cuttable or not you'll have to try it out but um, clicking this it will make where did it go oh it went in here oh it will make like little okay it keeps dropping into the the basket <laughs> okay as you can see It uh, slides to the right and going into here, you can see we now have raw chicken cuts, raw mutton chops, raw bacon, minced meat, beef, raw cod slice and raw salmon slice. And we can start putting them in the pan and as you can see they're going to start cooking. This is going to take a while it seems like. Okay, I don't know why this is taking so long but it won't cook the meat but... Normally you could cook the meat in uh, this pan and it would like come out like if you would put it in a furnace But it isn't working. I don't know why then moving on to our second thing. We have crates This is a carrot crate a potato crate apple crates cabbage crates tomato crates and What was this again onion crates as you can see we have uh, three crates for uh, our vanilla items and then we have three crates for our new items which are added in this mod. You don't have to use any sticks in the recipe for these crates because when you have nine carrots per se you can just fill the whole crafting grid up with them like nine by nine and you'll just get this block so it's purely just for um, yeah just for storage things. <laughs> And right here, as you can see, we have new bales and bags. This is a rice bag and we have two new bales. And these are the rice bale and the straw bales. This is also just purely for um, decoration and for storage. So yeah, it's not really special. And here we have just a bag of rice. So that's all for uh, this little section of uh, our mod review. So moving on to our next thing, we have the wild crops. We're going to start from this side. We have wild potatoes, wild carrots wild rice which only grows in shallow water, wild potatoes, wild onions and wild cabbage. So these are just going to be going to be randomly spawning inside of your world so you can just pick them up and plant them in your own farm and then they'll just start growing like normal ones. Then moving on we have tatami. I don't know what this is in real life but we're going to start off from this side because so this is our canvas rug made out of four canvas and making, when you put two canvas rugs together, you get this long tatami uh, rag and putting this in the crafting table gives you two of those. So I think you can make some cool um, like patterns with these blocks, but I wanted to make one, but I didn't know how. <laughs> we also have the tatami block, but I don't know what purpose this has. It just looks like 
high class wool. <laughs> Then we have our canvas signs. These are the ones I've been using the whole time. You can uh, make this normal canvas um, sign and color it in every color in Minecraft. So you can just have colored um, signs. And I kind of like that because normal signs, they kind of look bland. Then we move on to one of my favorite features in this mod, cabinets. And I don't know why, but I always love cabinets and mods. So as you can see, we have the oak, the spruce, the birch, the jungle, the acacia and the dark oak variants. So these are all the overworld variants. And then we have the nether variants as well. So I kind of really like this. <laughs> and um, as you can see, every cabinet has the same amount of storage space. And it's kind of like just a prettier chest. And I really like that. Moving on, we have another sort of wild crop. We have wild mushrooms. And I'm going to take this torch out of here. And we're going to go inside of here. We have the wild brown mushroom and the wild red mushroom. These are just mushrooms that'll spawn in the wild. And they'll drop way more mushrooms than a normal mushroom would. So it's kind of nice to just find these and start like a little farm in the beginning of your let's play. Okay, then we have the safety rug so i'm going to climb up here so you guys can see the safety rug this is the safety rug and normally if we would jump off this height we would get fall damage but when we jump off here it's like a little slime block but i don't know they look way better i'd, I'd rather place these than normal slime blocks so they're just better looking slime blocks and then i wanted to like I really wanted to make like a wall with all the types of uh, food you can place, but I'm kind of lazy, so I didn't do that. But these are all the foods you can place on the floor. So we have three types of pies, and then we have all these sorts of new um, food items. So when you make a bowl, you can like take pieces of this placeable food and eat it. It's really nice to put it like in your vanilla house and then just go up with a bowl and just take a piece of it and yeah i'm a really big fan of this why am i stepping on food so that's going to be all for today's video and on minecraft monday i hope you liked this video um my opinion on the farmer's delight mod is that it's one of the best mods currently for minecraft um i skipped a lot of recipes and yeah i just didn't really want to cover all the recipes because that would take a lot of time but I want you guys to explore that for yourself, um, I'm surely going to do it too, but if you want like all these recipes, you can, um, yeah, just experiment with it yourself because I'm way too lazy to do that. But that's my problem, um, <laughs> I hope you liked this video, if you did be sure to leave it a like and subscribe and I hope I see you guys in the next video, bye bye.